What's up, Jacob here? It's been a while since I've been on the water. Today is just getting back into the groove of things. I'm just gonna be throwing whatever lures seem to be working. Um, I'm filming this intro after I've already been fishing for a little bit, so I've caught a snook today. I caught two snook yesterday, so I'll put those in the video. And so I think I'm just gonna be tossing a paddle tail around for a little bit, and we're gonna see what we can get into. We're going after a big snook today. A big snook mission is really what we're after, but we're in a place where there's jack, redfish, trout, tarpon, black drum, so pretty much anything is on the menu today, but we really wanna catch a big snook. Actually, not a bad snook. Try to keep him out of. Got a hurt shoulder and I'm a little rusty, so. All right, we got him out of the mangroves. It's not a huge one, but it's a nice, it's a nice little snook. Let's see if we can get a land on him. Beautiful snook. Right in the top of the mouth. Probably about a 18, 19, 20 inch fish. Go ahead and measure it, it's right here. Oh, oh, I am underselling him. That is a 24 inch snook. Beautiful little guy. Looks like he got a little, little bite mark on his back, but that's a good start today. Been fishing for only like 10, 15 minutes. Get this guy back in the water. See his little sails up top. Hasn't been out long, so it'll probably still be pretty fired up. Beautiful fish. And off he goes. So the lure we're throwing that we just caught that on is this little Z-Man. Um, I forget the color that this is, but it's got like a little red flake. I think maybe Houdini. And we got the trout eye jig head. I love these lures. I have a ton of great action, but I just have a hard time getting them on the hooks. I'm sure some people know the strategy and whatnot but I, I have yet to dial it in but but it's getting the job done so we're gonna keep tossing this see if we can get some other fish two nice red fish right to my left they didn't spook but they had to have seen me choke all chokes they're literally swimming under my boat now they go just spooked probably like 25 28 inch red fish that sucks Oh, something ate when I stopped reeling. That's <laughs> another little snook. Let's get you over here. Get you up in here. It's another not bad one. We're gonna see if we can whack some more real quick. Off he goes. It's a little trout, but he didn't actually eat it. Something big just got spooked right in front of me. There's someone right here, but it's spooked. Oh. I just think some of these fish that are munching are a little too small to get this hook in their mouth. So I might switch to something smaller, but it's getting chewed, so I don't really want to change lures because it's working. They just got hit three times now, and I don't think that they are big enough to swallow the hook, so I guess we're going to have to weed out the small ones in hopes that a bigger one eats. A little snook him. Send him right on his way. Just a little snook. Didn't even think anything ate. <laughs> Not a very big one. 
He's not a baby though. Probably about a little 16 inch snook. We'll get him right back in the water. He was ready to go. Anytime that you catch a snook, no matter what the size, make sure to check your line for frayage. Fortunately, that one didn't fray me up much. It was um, not too long of a fight. So that's just important because then you don't want to break off on that next fish you might hook into because it might be a big one. But just like yesterday, Houdini Z-Man paddle tail is the lure that seems to be working. So we're just going to keep tossing it. I'm noticing a lot more seagrass just everywhere. I mean, especially yesterday where I was, but it just seems like I'm seeing a lot more I mean, not as much here, but <laughs> I have just been seeing a lot more seagrass, which is cool. And the water has been clearing up for the summer. So it's exciting. There's a lot of thick bull mullet, mullets around here. Oh, that's a big snook. That's a big fish. That's a big fish. That's a really big fish. Try to get him out of the mangroves. Keep the tension on. That's a big snook. We can hoist him out of these mangroves. This is a big snook. Keep my line really low below those mangroves so he doesn't get me caught up. He's in there. We've almost got him out. Ah! Oh! He broke me off on the mangrove. Dang, that was a big fish. Broke me off on the mangrove. That was a big snow, holy crap. Dang it. Oh my, <laughs> he destroyed that. He was too small to swallow it though. That was almost like a topwater eat. That was crazy. He was pretty small, but he, and he went after it. All right, I've already seen some black drum, redfish, and snook. So I'm gonna commit to the redfish and black drum around here. I got a little shrimp with um, some Procure gel on it. Get those little senses tingling for those drum we're gonna throw some blind cast but some of these areas the water is actually decently clear so we'll do some sight casting redfish <laughs> not a bad one i don't know if he knows where the boat is yet he hasn't put a run in him yet I'm trying not to get him too excited he's not terrible there he goes I got 30 pound on here, so I'm going to try to just pull him out of these mangroves a little bit. All right, we got him out of the mangroves. Loosen it up a little bit. It's not a bad redfish. There's three of them swimming together. Got us out in the middle over here. Come on, buddy. Oh, I don't like those head shakes. Trying to keep that tension on him. Come on, baby. He is pulling. I'm going to swing us back out again and try to anchor us away from the mangroves. This guy is just dogging me. He is just pulling tight. Oh, I had another run at him. This is not a bad rat. I didn't, I think this was like the biggest one. The ones that I saw weren't even this big. I honestly don't remember. I've been switching, I've been switching up my reels quite often. I don't remember what pound leader I had on this. I'm pretty sure it was 30 though. He's getting closer. Come on. Oh. Oh, he found more mangroves. 
Stay out of there. He is trying everything he can. Oh, this is a nice red. Oh, yeah. Oh, that is a nice red fish. Holy crap. I'm gonna give him a little breather and then show him off to the camera. Beautiful redfish right there. She's drumming. I don't want to keep her out too long. We're gonna get a measure on her and get her right back in the water, get a nice good release on her. Beautiful, healthy redfish right there. I'm stoked on that. It's, it's been a while since I've been in the water. It's been a while since I caught a nice fish, so this is sick. Well, <laughs> I didn't really think it was that big. This is actually my PB redfish. This is 32 inches. My PB was only 28 or 29, can't remember exactly, but I didn't have a 30. So this is my first 30 inch redfish. I'm gonna get her back in the water, get a good release on her. Oh yeah, he's kicking. She is kicking. Kicking and drumming. Off she goes. Whew. So the lure that got the job done right there is this shrimp lure, it's called a thumper. Um, I just, tied this on her throat because I saw a black drum. So I was like, well, there's black drum in the area. I know there's redfish in the area. I'm gonna target those. Just, the water isn't super clear if it's like two feet deep, but up on the mangroves, you can see fish swimming around. So I just saw those redfish. And I thought I was throwing on like 15, 20 redfish. Just didn't have much urgency in me. But once I hooked that and I saw it kind of, kind of pull off a little bit, I was like, oh, this might, this might be a pretty, pretty nice fish. So I know 32 inches isn't a massive redfish, but for me, that's my PB. Um, so I'm pretty stoked on it. So we're gonna put some more Procure gel on this bad boy. Start um, cruising up and down these mangroves, see if we can spot some others to sight fish. <laughs> right after releasing that fish and trying to get back up to go fish some more, I uh, decided today that I was going to be more comfortable and wear my hay dudes rather than my fishing boots and um, I see why I should always wear my fishing boots. I slipped and busted open my leg. <laughs> uh, my initial um, reaction was, okay, this might be pretty bad. Let's go ahead and get off the water. Um, after sitting for a second, getting some food in my stomach because it is one o'clock and I have not eaten anything today, um, I'm feeling better. Um, it's throbbing a little bit, but <laughs> after catching my PB redfish, um, I've got some motivation to keep on fishing. So I'm gonna hop back up on the deck barefoot because I feel like my bare feet will have better traction than um, my shoes. And we're gonna get back to it. Hope we can catch some more fish. This sun is bright. Yeah. 